Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be introducing you to an anvil hold down tool that I've designed and created. Uh, I believe this thing is far superior to all other hold down tools that I have used thus far. Um, not saying that to just brag on myself. Uh, it's just, it just has come in real handy here in the last few days. Uh, so I've got some clips here of uh, the different things that it can do uh, in ways that it is superior to the standard hold down tools that everybody is accustomed to. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the plans for this hold down tool, you can purchase them at blacksmithpdfs.com and uh, the, the cost on that will be $8. So I'll put a link in the description and at the end of the video uh, so that way you can navigate yourselves there. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, here we are at the anvil. I'm going to go over real quick uh, kind of the operation of this tool here. Um, so this tool here, the reason why I say that it would be superior to other hold down tool types is I've got one here. Um, this is just a square, it fits in the hardy hole and holds uh, material down. The problem with these types of uh, hold down tools are always that they are size specific. So that means they have a range that they work best in, and it's a fairly narrow range. So say you created this tool, and it may be able to hold up to three quarters of an inch, down to maybe three eighths of an inch, or something along those measures, or maybe as far as quarter inch, and you'd still be able to get the tool to hold the, hold the material down. Anything bigger than that, or smaller than that, in the traction on the shank of the tool doesn't wedge enough it does not wedge enough into the hardy hole of the anvil or the pritchel if you're using a round type of hold down tool to actually stake the piece down good and then you end up having pieces wobble out. So what I've designed to come around that is essentially a tool. You have a thumb adjustment for extra tension and it's as easy as this. You swing your lever down and it locks it in to the anvil just like a big visa grip. Um, the advantages to this tool is this height is adjustable. This height is adjustable all the way down to quarter inch material or three eighths inch material. I'm trying to find some other material here to uh, find some pieces here. But this is roughly about an eighth of an inch. So right here is three quarter inches thick and I can't pull that out of the anvil. Move this over. Give our handle just a little bit of a crank down. Get it, get it close to where we want. Maybe adjust our fine tuning knob here to get it adjusted. And boom, we've got that mostly secured. We'll move it over a little bit. This little thumb screw can be adjusted, however. And then that holds your material. So, um, the other big advantage here is this is cold material here. Oh, the other big advantage, you can hammer on the edge of the anvil material. Now that was eighth inch material, half inch wide, forged cold at a right angle over the anvil surface. With a regular hold down tool, when you put it on here, if you were to hit this way, they're subject to that vibration popping them back up and out of the hole. So need to remove the material, it's that quick. Put the material back, find your spot, it's locked in. That quick. So this allows a lot of adjustability. So we just went from that, get rid of that thing. And I've got an extra block here. These are on my guillotine tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this block, we're gonna loosen this thing back up. As you can see, it's a toolless thing. You just use your handle as your own wrench. We'll just keep this adjusting out. We'll find this material underneath here. Put that back to where it's in a set status here. Put that out a little bit. There we go. Just get it adjusted to where that material just touches. And now, 
you're holding something that these are two three quarters coming together so they're an inch and a half total. So anything from inch and a half down to eighth inch material or less can be held with this hold down tool. Um, this makes it great for chiseling plate or anything else of that nature. Um, you know this is a pretty good demonstration of how handy this tool can be to you. Um, I think it's definitely worth the eight bucks um, for the plans but that's my own opinion and of course yeah you know I'm a salesman there so I won't try to sell you too much on it but it, it offers a range of versatility um, that I haven't seen in other hold down tools um, and it, it just makes things a lot handier uh, for guys and I'm all about making it easier on people. So, uh, just to give another little short demonstration here. So I could take this whole thing and say, okay, the clamping pressure. So one of the hardest, one of the hardest bends to make is a short bend right after you bent something. It's very hard to make a really short bend going the opposite direction. But with this tool, all you have to do is crank the the tool down and this doesn't quite fit my hardy hole and that's okay we want it to have a little bit of space there now all you gotta do is just crank this tool down to where it's close within the side of the anvil you put your material underneath there we've got about half inch stick out I think it is run your thumb screw down to where it touches the material and lock it down that's not going anywhere. And then just hammer your reverse 90 there. Loosen it, and there you go. 90 and a 90. And of course, that was a little, that came off a little bit. It tries to straighten out. But there you go. That's all done cold, folks, with eighth inch. That's about eighth inch. That might be a little under an eighth inch there. Uh, but as you can see you can do all that cold um, and if I want to do this again if I need to move up in stock or maybe something's just not quite the right size all I have to do is change up once again change my thumb screw tension and boom I got it right there that's locked in it a square corner so and that's holding up much further once again that's definitely into the eighth inch amount there so uh, that's all done cold so you can do this hot uh, and you can move a lot of material um, I would say probably half inch hot would be about the maximum on this uh, that you could do like a half inch square bar hot um, the other advantages to this tool is this thumb screw can be replaced with different shaped ends or different foot pad ends that will be able to hold on to different shaped objects like rounds or radiuses or different weird shaped objects that you may encounter in blacksmithing. And it's just as easy as cranking it down to the material size that you're needing. And you can crank this down as low as she'll go. And I think I've got some other plate here, some real thin stuff. If you hold on a second, bad. Wasn't prepared for this. Alright. That right there is real real thin plate. I want to say. Oh, let's see here. Well, it's a 30 seconds of an inch. So it's lower than 16th. We'll slip that underneath there. We'll give this a give this thumb screw. A little bit of a set down to the material. Pick it up a little bit. It takes a little bit to find the right, the right stuff on it, but but you can find it. So that looks like that's going to be about the limit there. It's hitting down here and stopping it from from pulling down any tighter. But so 30 seconds of an inch. You can't do 30 seconds of an inch, but as you can see, can do eighth inch all the way up. To inch and a half. 
and we can very quickly come right back. Just roll this up here and I'll clamp that inch and a half back down again. Just like as if we had never not had it clamped in the first place. So once again, it's all about running that thumb screw down to where you want it. And now, you can't take and get it out of there. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this demo. Um, I'll try to put some other videos um, in later projects. Uh, I've got some other projects coming up that this tool is really going to be handy for. And uh, I'll share more with, you know, forging different things, using it to forge different stuff. I'm a bit out of time today to do that. But anyways, I hope you found this video enjoyable. Um, yeah, if you have interest um, in, in building one of these for yourself, I've got plans. I took all the guesswork out of it. Um, I've had them professionally drafted for you guys. And uh, I, I think they'll be a great resource. And uh, we can bring some blacksmithing and the, uh, at least the hold down tool into the 21st century. Anyways, thanks for watching this. God bless you all. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.